If you've ever made known that you care about the environment or that you love animals, then at some point you may have been questioned about whether you're vegan or why you're not vegan. We're sure the majority of vegans are perfectly understanding and respectful people. It's sad how something as obvious as that has to be said, but we all know how a vocal and let's just say most passionate minority can sometimes paint the wrong picture. Which is unfortunate because in principle, the philosophies behind veganism are admirable and worth getting behind. But despite the numerous arguments for veganism, we are still not vegans, we are not vegetarians and in all likelihood will never be. Let's explore why. Starting with the most straightforward, health reasons. First question, do we think a plant-based diet can be healthful and nutritionally adequate? Yes, of course, although for obvious reasons, it would almost always require a higher degree of planning compared to a diet with no restrictions. A well-planned plant-based diet will also, in most cases, be an upgrade over the average person's increasingly unhealthy modern diet. But if the question is if we think a well-planned plant-based diet is healthier than a similarly well-planned diet that includes animal products, then our answer is we don't necessarily think so. Some people may thrive on a plant-based diet and others may do better with a moderate amount of animal products. We would find it hard to agree with any blanket statement that suggests one dietary choice is universally healthier than the other. Even if we ignore individual preferences, there are still too many variables to be taken into consideration. But most people are aware that there's a lot of room for improvement in the way they eat. Cutting down on excess refined sugar or having more vegetables etc. Because at its core, eating well can be surprisingly simple. Simple, but just not easy to do in the real world. So even if, hypothetically, a plant-based diet was proven to be objectively healthier, Making the switch would mean turning what was simple but not easy into something less simple and even more difficult. We're not sure how anyone can be confident in saying the latter is going to be better for everybody when most people are already struggling with the former. So from a personal health perspective, we think dietary choice all depends on the individual. But what about environmental reasons? Don't we agree that going vegan will have a positive impact on the environment? In theory, there are many things we can eliminate that will result in having a positive impact on the environment. That doesn't mean we think we should eliminate all of them. Saying reducing is very different from saying eliminating. We are not denying that our collective, a moderated, overconsumption of meat and other animal products is a huge problem. Even close to home, that is evident. We've always heard stories about how, growing up, our parents could only afford fish and meat on rare special occasions. Which is why Chinese use a saying which translates literally to big fish, big meat to describe an extravagant feast. But what was considered luxury just a few decades ago has become completely normal today. These days, subconsciously, Every meal we have with our family is a celebration, or you can say, big fish, big meat. And that is an issue. For many of us, we don't just consume what we need, we consume whatever we can afford. But to paraphrase a popular thought, we don't need a handful of people doing things perfectly, we need millions of people doing things imperfectly. If we look at it without bias, I don't think it would be unreasonable to say, Persuading the majority of our population to reduce their animal product consumption by half seems much more feasible than expecting to berate and guilt trip half the population into going completely plant-based. On an individual level, there are different ways for us to do our small parts for the environment. In each of these little ways, we are rarely expected to execute flawlessly 100% of the time. So say you've been trying and you're still constantly striving to do better in ways that you can. Should you feel guilty about not being vegan? In our opinion, absolutely not. 
telling anyone that they're not good enough because they haven't been perfect in one regard is condescending and counterproductive. It fosters an attitude of, if I can't do it perfectly, why bother at all? And that simply isn't something we can agree with. And now we've come to the meat of the debate. A portion of vegans believe that, quote unquote, true veganism is purely an ethical stance and has got nothing to do with personal health or the environment. It's simply a matter of right and wrong. We can spend all day debating right and wrong. But at the end of the day, our personal philosophies are subjective by nature. Most of us can agree on what is clearly right or wrong. But as the subject gets more sophisticated, we'll eventually start to have differences in opinion over where we should draw the line. One may say, screw ethics, cruelty to animals or other humans, people are free to do whatever they want. Another may say it would be inhumane to not let a mosquito feast on your blood, thereby depriving it of sustenance. But more likely, you, like most of us, are somewhere in the middle. We're open to conversation, and if the arguments are convincing enough, open to changing our minds. Even when we don't agree on where the line should be drawn exactly, we'll usually still be able to agree on what better looks like. If we can reduce wastage of animal products or produce less waste of any kind for that matter, then that's doing better. Killing an animal may never be truly humane by the strictest definition of the word, but if we can lessen their suffering up to the point of their demise, then that's doing better. But the world is becoming overly polarized. We're so used to picking sides. We exaggerate, mislead, and misrepresent facts to defend our pride and we get offended when anyone dares to disagree with us. Those on the other side of the fence must be wrong, because only our opinions can be right. My fear is that one day we'll become so polarized, most of us won't even be able to see eye to eye on what doing better means. At that point, we may simply think, why try? And that makes me wonder, do some of us really want to solve problems? Or do we just desperately want to be right? <laughs>